Rex Nelson, senior editor at the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, is no stranger to the show. He hasn't been able to travel Arkansas as much during the pandemic, but he's still writing on a regular basis. I sat down with Rex Nelson as part of our Political Animals series this week to learn about just how helpful he was to former Governor Mike Huckabee's first presidential campaign. You know, one thing that was really fun about traveling with Governor Huckabee is that he liked to eat, which as you know I do too, liked to eat out. Now when he started losing all that weight, you remember when he wrote a book about his weight loss, he wasn't as fun to travel with. But when I first started uh, working, when he first became governor in 96, uh, man, we would try to work into the schedule to try out all of these places around Arkansas and even in surrounding states. Uh, you can still walk into the original Doe's Eat Place, for instance, on Nelson Street in Greenville, Mississippi, and see a picture of Mike Huckabee right up on the wall after you come into the front door. Love going to Doe's. Anytime we were in southeast Arkansas, we would cross the bridge into Mississippi, go to Doe's, have tamales, have steaks there. So uh, that was always fun. And in 1998, uh, I... I I manage uh, his campaign, and I'm not only campaign manager, but I'm still traveling with him a lot. And one thing in Arkansas politics is you better like fried catfish because you're going to go to a lot of fish fries. In fact, you've probably heard David Pryor say before, he said, when I'm gone, they're going to cut me open and find nothing but a bunch of old catfish bones. That's part of politics in Arkansas. Well, we had had catfish for dinner on three consecutive nights and on the fourth night I couldn't go with him and uh, so I'm sitting in our campaign headquarters and the phone starts ringing and it's the governor's private line and I thought oh my gosh if he's calling me at night something really bad has happened and uh, so I answered the phone and I said yes governor and he said we broke our streak and I said what do you mean we broke our streak and he said we had barbecue tonight, so we had, we had broken the catfish streak. Well, a few years later, Mike Huckabee is running for president. I'm no longer on his staff. I had joined the Bush administration. I was working at the Delta Regional Authority at the time. And uh, uh, Huckabee's uh, 2008 campaign, as you know, had gotten off to a great start. He'd won the Iowa caucuses. He'd been on the front of Newsweek, the front of Time, all the news magazines. I mean. He was really the talk of the country at that point. And again, my phone rings and it's his number. I'm not working for him anymore, but I, you know, kind of smugly think to myself, you know, he still needs me. He's probably gonna need me for debate preparation. He's got a policy question that he needs some advice on. He still needs me, so I answer the phone. And sure enough, he says, uh, I need your advice on something. And I said, what's, what's that, Governor? I've got a pen and pad out. I'm, I'm ready for some deep policy advice, Roby. And he says to me, I'm in New Orleans. I've got an hour of downtime. Where should I go eat? <laughs> so I, 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 I hang up the phone and I tell my staff, I said, well, at least I'm good for something still. And that was food advice. That was it. No policy advice, but food advice, yes.